Hi, I'm Chessie Prout, and I'm a high school sexual assault survivor, advocate, and now author. Too often, sexual assault survivors can't rely on their families for support. Too often, families will stand with their perpetrator if they're in the family, or they will tell the survivor to get over it. It happens to everyone. And that shouldn't be the case. The purpose for me coming forward in the first place was to let other people know that they might feel alone, but they are not alone. Speaking out can be difficult. It can be the biggest and craziest thing that a person has to do in their life. And it's not for every survivor. Sometimes speaking out looks like writing down the words, I was assaulted or I was raped. Saying them out loud, telling a friend, talking to a parent, a trusted adult, or talking on national television. I mean, it looks different for everybody, but to see real change in the world, we have to use our voices when we can. And I feel like it's my responsibility to help amplify this message through the different avenues that I'm given. Two days after the trial, my name was blasted on the internet, on hate sites, people writing narratives of what my assault was like, people writing death threats, rape threats. I mean, I had no sense of privacy in that sense. When you searched up Chessie Prout on the internet, if I were to ever apply for a job or even apply to go to college, people would see the headline. The first headline was the St. Paul School Slut. And so when St. Paul's School challenged my anonymity in a court filing, that kind of pushed me over the edge. And I looked at my parents and I said, they think this is gonna shut me up. <laughs> I knew that my experience was much bigger than my name, my comfort. So I wanted to put myself out there because if it wasn't my name being dragged through the mud, if it wasn't me going first, it would have to be somebody else. I think the most important thing to me on my journey has been my family's support. From their immediate support, my older sister telling me that what happened to me was not my fault when I disclosed to her, to my mother comforting me on the phone when I told her what happened. That is what a sexual assault survivor deserves, is love, support, and kindness from the people that are meant to do that in the first place. We've met so many different people who have helped out my family and me through the criminal justice process, through, I mean, even me coming to terms with my sexual assault and becoming a survivor. And so my family and I wanted to spread that wealth of knowledge and we launched our organization, I Have the Right To. Um, and on our website, IHaveTheRightTo.org, we're hoping that it can become a sort of safe haven for survivors to either seek support, to share their stories, to let everybody know that this is what happened, this is real, you can't ignore us anymore, and we will find hope and justice through this. I think education is key and also extremely necessary to keep kids safe. I mean, you can teach a child as soon as they can talk to ask permission to hold somebody's hand, ask permission to borrow or take a toy, and let them know that they are not forced, they don't have to show affection to people that they don't want to show affection to. I think a lot of these problems can be minimized by emphasizing the need for mutual respect. I truly believe it's through human connection that we can build and grow and make a difference in this world. Too often as girls, we're told to stay in our place, to be quiet, to be polite, to be kind, um, to be the caring emotional ones. But whenever we stand up for ourselves or claim our most basic rights, sometimes we're called names like bossy or we're called bitches. I wanted to use the hashtag I have the right to, to make it normal for girls to be able to claim their most basic rights. In the media, my perpetrator was given the lauded descriptions of all that he had accomplished and all that he had to lose. And yet I was protected with anonymity as the 15-year-old victim. In writing my book, I wanted to show the humanity behind the word 
victim or survivor. I have the right to be who I am without judgment or fear, to be happy, sad, angry, funny during this process because there is no perfect victim. Thank you.